we are. Trailhead for Sugarloaf Mountain. By the gate, here's a wooden spot you walk through. And the trail's right over here. You head up to um, Sugarloaf Mountain. So, as you guys can see, there's not much of a trail through here. But as you get up right here, there is a trail. I'll double check with the GPS, but as you can see, it's a trail. Let's hope this is it. Along the way up, you guys will notice there's some cars coming around, which help you find the trail. There's one right here, and right over there is another one. So it's not well used like other trails. Look how big this thing is. Look at that right there. That, that thing, thing is huge. Really wide. What a grove. Look at these. Real stubby. Yeah, there's one right here behind me. Wow. Back here. Notice one thing I don't see on any of the trees. Nobody's carved their names in. Yeah. There's no trash on the trail. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. And I think we're going this way. It looks like he would put these here. Yeah. You gotta watch the pan here. Yeah. As you guys can see, some people have put logs down. So, there's rocks. There's just a single rock right there. There's a cairn up here. So, some were easy to find, but once again, it's not a heavily used trail. Yeah, some baby trees growing up. Who knows how old those are, though. They could be babies, but they could be like 10 years old. By the way, that. So once again, you got logs here. And then you're going to, right here, just different trees. Yeah, whole different forest. From back there to right here. Now the pine trees have changed a little. And there's needles on the ground. Uh, now you got the pine needles on the ground. Gone from rocks to pine needles. Awesome. You guys can see where the barbed wire used to be. Right there. And then going up, 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 up. Awesome. Look at that. Awesome tree. You could probably make something with the fiber of that. Oh, yeah. And then right across the way, right over there, San Gregorio Wilderness. And just so you guys see, right ahead. there is Sugarloaf Summit right up there. And we've got to go back down this ridge line. And back up. Uh, so here's the trail that we just came from. Maybe that's so, it looks a little bit blocked off here, but it could be maybe so people don't have their dirt bikes or something. 
know. You've got right here National Recreation Trail. Show you left trails this way. Let's see here. Green Canyon. It goes that way. Wild Horse Trail goes that way. That could take you down by Heart Bar. That we passed one time, takes you down by a little creek, which I think is Green Creek. So three miles that way, six miles that way, a mile back to the car. Changing again. A moss on the tree. Yeah, right across the way. Moss on that tree. Right behind us on this dead tree. Some moss. Right. Another one of the. Another mound. Over mm -hmm. there. The mound, people. Summits over yonder. Now we're going up a little bit higher. More manzita bushes. Nothing like the manzita bushes I was seeing up on San Jacinto. Right there. Lightning burn. burn the bark off, looks like. And that was it. And then the bark just died off. Just showing you guys how steep this trail gets up here. Oh badass. Dude. What are we where am I about twenty feet from you? Come over here, yeah. It's a little steep. And you guys are gonna probably see one amazing view. Yep. Wow. That's rad. Look out there, guys. Got a view of the desert. Awesome. Little break point here. Just get steep, like we showed you, but look at that view behind us. Awesome. And then Sugarloaf right back there. You got Gold Mountain right through. Bottom Dry Lake. Almost 93. About 9,300 feet right here. And you got the desert way out there. And as you guys can see, hopefully the sun's on the way, but pretty steep right down there. Just so you guys see the view coming over as I see it. <laughs> wow. That's sugar though. Stop along real quick to show you this little spot towards the peak. That's a little area where you can have a campfire. A little campground maybe. Looks like actually right over there, Andrew. There's like a little fire ring right there. Oh yeah. So people camp here. You can get out of the real rocky terrain and get some trees again. Just so you guys see right here before trek to the summit right here is like a nice windbreak before the hill that we got to go yeah, up. you could sit down right in here have a little break well right here starts going up a little bit rocky but 
Right here is a windbreak. You don't feel any of the wind whatsoever. Andrew says there's a nice view. See as I experience it. Yep. One hell of a view. Gold mountain over there. Is that Bertha? I don't know what that one is. Might be Bertha. But nice little outcropping right there. See if you guys see how quick those clouds are moving. Here we go to the summit of Loaf Mountain. So we've got a different GoPro attachment on. Let's see if it works. So you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. This is not the summit. This isn't the summit. No. Oh my goodness. No. We're suckers. Did. Well, not far. I mean, it's right there. It's cool right here, though. I don't think we would have seen this if we didn't come over. Yeah. As we come up here, yeah. Yeah. son of a gun. Yeah. That would be the summit, <laughs> Andrew. What would that be called? <laughs> fail. Oh, that's a fail. But I mean, look where we're at. Look F you, Garmin. Look at this. Garmin wants us to take the scenic route. You yeah. guys. Uh, like, like I said, you guys are seeing what I'm well, seeing. I got you on my head. This is technically a trail to the summit. It is. It leads right to it. Okay, we'll take this ridge line up. We gotta kinda go over there. So, very cool. Yeah. You guys see that? There's a trail that goes up, technically. There you go. Yeah. That way you can see it. So, cool. I'm gonna take this off for a few. Fail the summit. This is bitching now. But the views are amazing. Look at that. You got heart bar down there. The Aspen Grove is almost straight ahead. I don't know if I'm pointing the right area right in there. As you guys can see, someone's got a fire ring up here. Hasn't been used in a long time. We just came from that way, a little ridge line. So, now let's go this way up. Find the easiest way to the summit. Just wind my whistle before I head up. We are, came back along that ridge line, found the trail. As you can see right here, Trail. It's a rocky one. This should take us all the way up to the peak now of Sugarloaf. So, let Andrew go ahead. So, I see a little bit of his video. And I'm coming up with mine. So, as you guys can see, one neat area. Once again, gotta love these peaks up here. So, this one here is um, the highest peak surrounding Big Bear Lake.
guys. It's right there. Here we are. Sugar Loaf Mountain. Elevation 9,952 feet. San Bernardino National Forest. Got one other sign right over here. Oh, you guys can see it right there. Nine thousand nine hundred fifty-two feet. Made it. Let's see what other adventures we get into on the way down. But this is the summit. The summit of Sugarloaf. See behind us? A big bear lake over there. Views from the summit aren't great, but the views up here are amazing. Desert over there. Big bear right there. You can see the observatory. We're gonna walk over that way, see what we see over there. G. Very windy over here. Got wind reduction on, but don't know how well it's gonna work. San G's over there. The whole San Gregorio wilderness. And that takes you right over there. You can see the valley down below. Awesome. Just leaving the summit, Sugarloaf Mountain. Great hike up. Get some views on the way down. Four miles back. Four miles in, four miles back. So, as you can see, the summit's right behind me. A couple spots up here. Camp. Don't know if you want to camp. A little windy. But. That is the highest summit around Big Bear Lake. 9,952 feet. Okay guys, right here behind me is where we came in from. We're gonna actually take the axle down this way. That's where the Sierra Club come up. We just met a couple guys, met a guy we did um, Gold Mountain with. So, once again, this is the regular way out. This is an old trail couple campsites over there but that's the old trail it takes the ridge line so coming down the other trail Andrew noticed that it's quieter here by a lot the wind is blocked way up there but over here no wind nothing whatsoever come down you do some switchbacks I think I like our way better yeah. Okay guys, we came back around trail, wraps around this way, right up here is where we went up. So, so I go that way. I think it's easier near the ridge. Just wanted to show you guys the view coming down. You guys see this video you guys are almost there but you think they packed enough jesus these people look like they were yeah. hiking the night staying the night out here look at all the crap they got and they were not staying the night there's no way we saw them anywhere on the trail there's nowhere to 
Oh, we would have heard them too. Yeah. But look at those packs. That's a day hiking, guys. Yeah. Uh, it's not what you want to do. The whole damn restaurant. That's... Okay, guys. Heading back out. Almost to the car. Great hike. A couple of steep spots, but for the most part, it's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. I think total mileage is right about eight miles. It's about four miles up there. Just double it. Like I said, eight miles. So nice, perfect day out. Cool weather. Cars are over here. As you can see, for the book, right the lock gate right there. I went in right here, but there's actually a trail right there to where Andrew's car is. Yep, great hike, like I said, about eight miles. I'll get, once the video's done, I'll try to put some stats in there with the GPS. Maybe I can put a top of map in there for you guys. So. Great hike. Until next time, I'll see you on the trails.